So now we're going to talk about the different types of chats that are available. There's a couple of versions that we can install on the website. The first version is an SMS email chat. So when somebody fills out our little chat here, it doesn't initially spark a, a live chat conversation. It moves it over into a text SMS type of conversation. So when you look over in this part here, you can see that I've had conversations testing through my particular contact in here. That's my phone number. So hello, test chat, right? And now this actually, um, when I look at my phone, my text messages, they come through myself on my text on my phone. So that's where the conversation gets moved into. There's another type of conversation that we can have, which is live chat, which is obviously when I have conversations on here, it's a back and forth that remains on the website. There's a couple ways. Then there's another version where we have WhatsApp. And again, we can have you connect your WhatsApp account. It's a little bit extra money for us to do that, but it's not terrible. So if you're used to using WhatsApp, we can have move that conversation into WhatsApp. So when somebody starts this conversation, and let's just, for now, I've got mine set up as an SMS and an email chat. It, again, it looks like what we see inside here, back and forth. Now, when I have go into conversations, it will look like this. So I'm going to pretend that, I haven't read this here. I'm going to go back over in here. So any new conversation shows up here. And just as I mentioned before about looking at conversations, this is where you want to find them. Now make sure, because I've done this many times and I'm thinking messages, where are they going? Make sure you have not turned on filters if you want to see everything. Filters are when you're trying to find a specific one. I recently chose inbound and all of a sudden when I had a, a message and I went outbound, it went away and I couldn't find it. So just make sure it's all cleared out or you're understanding how these, how these filters work. So those are the two types of ways that we can set up these direct conversations so that we don't lose out on any leaky buckets. I do recommend at least one of these on your website. Again, it goes back to the fact that you might not have somebody on call all the time, but I believe that with at least the email SMS chat capability, it's at least the next best thing. It, it can come to your phone. Now, don't forget also we have, there is an app that you can put on your phone. What I'm seeing here is the same conversation inside here as the user. So I would recommend having that or the salesperson or the receptionist. I use a Mac, so my text messages actually come out with them. I have an, a text app on my computer. I don't know if Windows has. Anyway, that is chat capability. Again, this is more SMS and email conversations, but they come in through the website. Now, there are some options like SMS email chat, which allows us to have conversations off of the website. You leave their name and their email. Live chat is having conversations directly on the website and they, the, the lead, the customer stays on the website. And then there's WhatsApp. I'm gonna just click out of here. This is the one that's on the moving marketing website. And if I hit edit, these are some options and choices. If you just, you can choose some different styles. You can choose your image that shows. I think it's better if you have an actual person in here. You can choose where it is on the website. We usually choose the bottom right, it's typically where you find it. Uh, you can have some options on what you see here. Your title, do you have a question about your move? You can certainly have that. I absolutely would want their email and a call to action is just send. You can have send Now, what I'm realizing when I have this tool set up, I'm, I think sometimes someone's going to immediately respond. So I would, I would recommend having the acknowledgement here. One of our representatives will be in touch with you shortly via SMS or email you provided. And that way it's a little clearer. I just realized that when I saw that message, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm waiting for a response and that's not how this works. The tool has several different methods. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Now, what we can do is we can actually create another chat 
I can create a live chat version where we do have those conversations a lot faster. We can put that on maybe specific landing pages. For example, maybe on the estimate request page where I really want them to fill that out and I wanna have that conversation right away, that could work. But again, you have to be there. You have to be inside the system or the app to converse back and forth with this person using the chat. So it, it, whatever works for your operation, that's what will be best. I would maybe test it and see which you prefer, but we're gonna add this to your website. All right, thanks. Next time we'll talk about voicemail and texting again.